Hi, this is Adam from AM Web Design and Digital Marketing, generating more leads, more clients, and more profits for your business online. What we're going to be doing in this quick video is I'm just going to show you the fastest way to reproduce and make new pages on your website. Okay, so I use WP Astra as my overall theme and Elementor as the page builder because very, very easy to use and just very intuitive, very visual, and just two brilliant systems. Okay, so what we're working on is a website, it's called cpprintservices.co.uk, and what I want to do, there's been an issue with the category pages on this website, so all I'm gonna do is go in, I've created some new pages, some new styling, um, set them up, and for my client, they want to know how to be reproducing these pages for the new products that they're gonna be releasing. So that's what this is going to quickly be about. So we'll go on and log in to the dashboard of this website. Okay, so first of all, to do this, there's a number of different ways. With Astra, you can piece build. So if we go into Pages, and so if we go Add New, mouse map miles away from me, um, New category page. I'll come in and rename this in a moment. This is just for demo purposes. So that's what we're going to call it. We'll call it Edit with Elementor. Edit with it. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So the different ways you can do it go into templates, click on templates, and I've already got the bits and pieces that I need for most of the pages. So I'd go in. Insert a topper, change the background image on there, change the title, then you come in, you put in content or testimonials, there you go, so we've got testimonials for the business, we go through, and we do all that and then publish the page at the end, and that will make the page live. Okay, so here, so if we're going to have our content, you come in. Got that bit of text that we'd have in, and then we'd come down, look down our slides because we want to come down and we want to put WooCommerce in. So here you got the products. So we pick up the products, put that in, and we can choose here. See, it's already putting all the products in. If we want to change what we want, manual selection. And filter by whatever single products custom queries that's what I'm looking for custom query match categories and we'd go say leaflets and it will just open up all our leaflets for us so they all just appear and that category is then working again publish that page Hooray, your page is live. So that is a nice, quick, and easy way to rebuild the new page. However, there is an even faster way to do it. So what we'll do, we'll go back to our WordPress dashboard. So we're back at our start page. And um, how I would do this now, because I've, I'm already happy with the styling, I'll open up another page. So we've got CP print. I'm already happy say here business card printing I'm already happy with the style of this page it's got the business cards on there uh, check out everything else affordable prices you know so all this is there so a quicker way to actually I can just duplicate the entire page so but in WordPress it doesn't call it duplicate it gives it a different name it's called cloning so I'll just wait for my plugin page, add new, just type in clone page, hopefully I'll see the one that I always use. There you go, page and post clone, it's got five stars throughout, there's an, quite a few of them here but this one's only got four, you know, so I always go for the ones that got five if you can get them. Okay, so we'll install now, 
just take a moment, activate that. Okay, so that's now activated. And what will happen on your pages, you will have here the choice to make a clone. Okay, that wasn't there before. So here's the page, business card printing. And we're going to hit clone. And that's it, we are ready to go. So test. Category page two. Delete that. Publish, publish, and then go in. And we can just crack on and start making amendments. Just come in, and it's got all our formatting in there. If we want to change the category that we're using, that was it. Match categories, this one's set to business cards. So, no fat pads found for that at the moment. But you do your leaflets. Well, whatever category you've got there. And it's set, and then you can just come through a change and amend pages slightly just to make them unique make sure you do go in change some of the wording because never just copy pages you need to go in and change the pages because Google the search engines do look at that and if you've got loads of pages on there that are saying exactly the same thing they will mark you negatively for that so make sure you go in rewrite your wording it doesn't have to be massive rewrite but make sure it's definitely relevant to what the page is doing you can't get away with just keyword hacking um, websites or anything like that, thinking, oh, I'll rank for this keyword because I've just stuffed it in loads of times. Okay, so make sure you go in, change the titles, change some of the text, change the products and all the bits and pieces there. Okay, so that is it really. Very, very simple. Like I said, post and page clone. You can just turn around, create new pages very, very simply. When you want to add that page to your menu, all you're going to do is go to appearance, come into menus, click on there. Here are our two new pages that we did. So you can just click in whichever one you want. And I've clicked into the wrong one, so we'll get rid of that. Uh, remove. Move. So main menu, that's the one I want. Uh, leave. So now we're in the main menu, there they are, so we can put them in, add to main menu, put them into our menu under there, that's saved, updated, and now there's our two new categories. So say if we go to test page one, obviously it can look exactly the same because that's the one I just cloned, um, however if we go new category page, there's the original one that we had where we put in the topper and everything else. So really that is as simple as it is. Okay, I'll put the, the name of the plugin that you need. I think it was page and post clone. Um, I'll put in a couple of other links. They are products that if you purchase from me, I get a small commission from. However, they are all products that I use for my business. So I'm recommending them because they're brilliant and they do everything. Um, but apart from that, hope the video helps gives you a nice fast way to start generating lots and lots of page on your website just remember to change the text on it when you do your Yoast SEO stuff on the the actual edit page make sure you're going in and changing those details as well meta description meta titles those things so everything is unique and you're not just copying pages okay I hope that's been beneficial and I'll see you in another video